If you're going to be headed out for some early morning shopping or you're just going to be getting ready for your day, heading to work, heading to school, prepare accordingly. It's a cooler start. We're seeing the 60s out there and less humid as we head throughout the afternoon. Some showers around tomorrow and becoming windy as we head into late week and into the weekend. Right now we're waking up to 66 in Fort Lauderdale in Miami, 65 in Pembroke Pines and Kendall, 70 in Marathon, 69 in Key West. So yeah, we're about two to six degrees cooler in comparison to yesterday. The fog is impacting your commute. The visibility has been dropping throughout the morning. I've been tracking it now down to five miles in Fort Lauderdale, Miami and Kendall and through the Keys. We're not seeing as much in the way of fog, but it is dry for now and the rain chance will be low today. But yeah, you can see that misty view from our Miami camera. You'll have to navigate around some of that fog and we'll be into the 60s through 8 a.m. 70s around 9 a.m. Mid 70s late morning and highs will be around 80 degrees. So a light sweater, a light jacket will be fine because we're going to be warming up this afternoon. It just won't be as humid, so it'll feel a lot more comfortable. And the wind out of the west, about 5, 10 miles an hour, showing you the forecast models. Around 11 a.m., there might be a stray shower, if anything. And then most of your afternoon is looking quiet, but we get into 7, 8 p.m., and you'll notice a little bit of green. That indicates the chance for some showers, as well as late tonight, overnight tomorrow morning. It'll likely be a wet start to your Wednesday as around 6, 7, 8, 9 10 a.m. We're seeing those scattered showers likely through midday and then everything starts to push inland because our wind from the north to the east high seasonable the upper 70s getting breezy on Thursday with highs around 80 low 80s this weekend will be windy and that'll lead to some hazardous beach and boating conditions.